In this video, we will go over the design file management steps on your A15 control panel. First page on your control panel is your design library where you can store and import embroidery designs. You can store up to 800 designs and up to 100 million stitches worth of designs. So you have plenty of room to load all the designs that you may need to use during production. To view a design up close, on your control panel. Simply tap the design you are wanting to see and hit the flower in the magnifying glass icon to view it up close. To exit this screen, hit the arrow going out the door and the check mark. To select a design that you are wanting to embroider, simply tap it one time prior to moving on to the next screen. If you would like to load a design via the USB drive, simply insert your USB into either of the two USB ports that are on the right side of your control panel. Once you do this, the control panel will beep to let you know that it has read the USB. To export designs from your control panel onto your USB, you can hit the flower with the arrow pointing away from it. Select the USB and the check mark to confirm the export. And it will let you know that it is finished. You can hit the arrow going out the door to exit this. To access designs on your USB, hit the USB icon on the right side of the control panel and select your USB. If you are wanting to see a design on your USB drive up close, you can select the design you are wanting to see, and then select the flower and the magnifying glass icon to view it up close. Once you've seen it to exit this screen, you can hit the arrow going out the door and the check mark to return back to your USB. If you'd like to create a folder in your USB, you can hit this blue folder icon, type out whatever you are wanting the folder to say, and hit the check mark to confirm it, and you'll be able to see your new folder in your USB. If you are needing to access a folder on your USB, find the folder that you are wanting to access and tap it two times to open it. Once you are done in that folder and need to go back to the rest of your USB, tap the blue folder icon with the arrow pointing up to return back to your USB. If you're wanting to format your USB disk to a FAT32 format, you can hit this USB icon with the arrows. Though we do not recommend doing this as formatting it on the control panel can result in losing designs that are on your USB. If you would like to ever delete designs from your USB, you can uh, select the design you are wanting to delete and hit the trash can icon to confirm the deleting of that design. Once you're ready to load a design from your USB onto your control panel, select the design you are wanting to import and hit the orange icon with the flower and the arrow pointing towards it. This screen will pop up telling you what pattern number your design is going to be placed in in the library. To confirm this, you can hit the check mark and hit the arrow going out the door to then see your new design in the box that the control panel told you it was going to be imported to. If you would like to import multiple designs at one time, you can hit the USB icon again to select your USB. And on the bottom right hand corner of your control panel, you can select the gray icon with multiple boxes. Make sure that multiple boxes are checked. This will allow you to select multiple designs at one time. Once you have selected the designs you'd like to import, hit the flower with the arrow icon again. And it will take a few minutes for these designs to be loaded in.
Once the loading icons have gone away, you can hit the arrow going out the door to then see your new designs in your library. If you would like to delete designs from your design library, select the design you are wanting to delete and hit the trash can icon and the check mark to confirm the deleting of that design. 